Yeah. Good evening. Welcome to Integrity Live. Uh, my name is Becca Whitney and it is so nice to be back. I've missed you all over the last couple of weeks. I hope you've all had a very nice August. Um, today, I'm very excited. My first guest for this section of the show. Um, would you like to introduce yourself to our viewers and let us know what you're here to talk about today? It's only right. <laughs> yes, my name is Idris Miles. Uh, I'm a rapper, artist, songwriter coming out from Essex and I've got to say, it's an honour to be talking with you, Becca, man, for real. For real, for real, for real. Let's go. Lovely. You want to tell us a little bit about what you're here to talk about today, I do. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we, I mean we're, we're just going to have a little catch-up and whatnot, but um, I'm, I'm happy to uh, announce a couple of things that I've uh, released recently, um, some plans that I'm going um, forward to in the, in, like, the near future. And... Um, and and yeah, you know what it's like, man. We just chop it up and uh and, and we'll go back and forth and, and and just enjoy the vibes, man. That's it. Lovely. I think um rumour has it that you've had a little bit of a busy week this week. What's been going on this week, mate? Oh yeah, so um yes, Friday I released two tunes back to back. It felt nice, it felt like an old school time, you know, like the, the A side, B side, dropping dropping cassettes and whatnot. So Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's nice. We're um over like the, the the quarantine and whatnot, I've been working on a lot of stuff and a lot of material, and I'm I didn't want to just release everything straight off the bat. Um, so yeah, I'm taking my time. I've released two tracks. Uh, one's called King Speech, and one's called Pie Show, featuring um one of my amazing rapper friends, Mega Mikes. And um, yeah, man, it's been a good vibe so far. It's been a good vibe so far. Everyone's feeling it, yeah. and um, I've been getting some good response from some very um very very influence influencers like the, the the influential people in the industry so uh yeah it's, yeah it's, it's nice man it's wicked people are starting to take notice is that what yeah. you're telling me yeah 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 yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're we're doing well we're doing well and um you know it's always nice to to release music and um, yeah. yeah i'm fine i'm fine to get out i'm one of those so, i'm one of those those mad people that I, I don't i like to release stuff straight away so it, it, I've been holding this one for a little while. So, yeah, <laughs> so you feel like you've released the pressure, you put it out. It's out yeah, there, it. I'm like, just have it, have it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm right in saying that you're an independent artist, right? I am indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. What, what does that look like for you? Tell our viewers a little bit about what that looks like when you're doing it as yourself, when you are the machine in a sense. I mean, I, like, don't, don't get me wrong, like, I'm independent in myself, as in, like, I, I'm always the. Um, the, the planner and, and I always execute my, my, my ideas and stuff like that but um, I do have a lot of people around me that help as well so I can't I can't just say like oh it's all just me but yep. um, as an independent artist it's kind of like um, I've got to be my own force um, no one's advising me how to act or yep. what to speak on or yep. blah 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 um, I'm just 100% authentic in who I am and I just do what I need to do or what I feel mm. necessary in the industry as of then and there, innit? So, yeah. yeah, that's it. So, effectively, it's like you are your own manager, aren't you? When, you, when yeah. you're an independent, you are your own manager, but you do still need that team around you. That is really yeah. important. Well, that, that, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like, uh, I, there was once a dream to do it all by myself, but um, the expenditure of time, like, yeah. with the expenditure of energy, it makes yeah. it a really rough job in it. So you yeah. have to you have to rely on people and be dependent on on, on some people to help out. But um yeah. I mean that's that's what that's what I'm I'm about anyway, man. Community and, and more importantly unity. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have um we kind of met last year on the, yeah, the yeah. open mic circuit. Yeah, on the live yeah. session circuit, we did. Yeah, um yeah. and I think one of the things that struck me as an artist with you, is, is your writing style. I would definitely call you a very skilled lyricist. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. So I mean, what inspires you for that? Where, where do you get your kind of motivation from? Um, well, I mean, like, obviously, family first. Um, like, my brothers uh, rap as well um, and, and are in some sort of music. Um, even, like, my, like my, my parents, they, they brought me up on a lot of music as well from young. So it was hard not to be influenced by that. Um, mm. And then I think, well, obviously, when I was just put, like messing around with music and, and just playing instruments as a young young one, obviously, I then got hooked into grind music from like the area where I was from and stuff like that. And then that's when I started to tap into like the the intricate 
um, flows and, and, and cadences and stuff like that from like people like um, Gets Kano, um, Dot Rotten, like just all, all those people that were in Grime at the time, like, like people like Wiley the Pioneers and stuff like that. Um, and it's only from when I was growing older and older and I started to listen to stuff that was going even before then, so like Jungle and, and, and the garage bits and stuff like that. And you hear, you hear like their, um, their influences as well. And all the stuff like crossing overseas, it's all just amalgamated into what I uh, perform and, 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 and like now, do you know what I mean? So I'm like mm-hmm. a big, I'm a big bowl of, of, of what has motivated and inspired me in, in the world. And that goes to, that goes to say for like um, like uh, motive, motives of what to write about and stuff like that, like concepts and everything like that. I'm just mm-hmm. literally I just absorb everything and then give out like that. So yeah. do you do you use kind of current events and what's going on in the world or what's going on with your life at the most, minute as kind of most, your most definitely. If I can't find anything to talk about in the world, I'll tap into what's happening inside, and I'll always have something to speak about because. Mm-hmm. That's just the type of person I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, yes. You always got something to say. I yeah, like exactly, that. exactly. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's um, it's it's worked. It's it's always worked to me. I find it's 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 ultra organic as well. Like if um, you know, you know, like when you know, like when you, you get told like if you don't have something good to say, don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. So like. <laughs> So like if I'm trying to write a song and I'm forcing it, I'll just let it go. That's yeah. that's mm-hmm. not that's it's not that time yet. And if I've got um, if I've got something to say and it flows naturally, then I know straight away that that's a banger. So when you when it flows from a place of inspiration rather than yeah. trying to have to like if, drag it out if, and over, yeah. overthink it. If it if it writes too easy, it's meant to be, and I will never yeah. I will never hold back on what needs to be released. So that's that's going to go out there. So yeah, man. Yeah. So right. what was what was it like? for you in terms of the very first time you released a single to kind of now what's what's different for you as an artist for you in your journey um i think yeah i think there's a lot of there's a lot of um different differences from when i first started i think when i well when i first ever released the track you know it was like like you, you download audacity on your computer and and, and just and and just recording it so i'm just right i'm just writing sen- senseless grind music so but for for me at the time, it's just like raw. Like I, I've learned how to 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 pen a sixteen or to do something real quick and blah blah blah. So I I was just exploring from from the get go. It's it's weird because obviously if I heard it now, I'd 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 laugh and be cringed in it. But it's, <laughs> yeah. you, you got you got to start from somewhere. So, the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And this is the thing as well that like, it helps me out because obviously. As a kid, like I said, like I was, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm from the Romford size and stuff. So, went after school, I travelled to Romford and meet people like you know, you know, Shaheen, Big Fizz, like he, he's, he, he was there. We're literally spitting 16, 16 for sixteen on, on like on the corner and that chicken and chips and 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 yeah. literally that yeah and that but that was like the that was like the training ground, didn't it? So, yeah. it's it it helps me because then from there I'm like I've got to come with a harder verse next time. And then I'm mm-hmm. progressing and progressing to the point where I'm mm-hmm. literally just I'm on a roll and, and now I'm writing music rather than just lyrics in it. Do you know what I mean? Everything, every sentence I, I say holds weight and and there is a whole concept that you can wrap your head around and listen to it time and time again for a new message mm-hmm. or something different out of it. So, yeah, man. You write very intelligently. I, I will say that about you. You do write very intelligently. Thank you. Thank and so it's interesting that you change on the street corner like a lot of us do I think when music is in our blood and it comes from that roots that's you know in the playground outside the chicken shop on the road that's where we learn how to sing that's where we yeah. learn how to speak most definitely so, most definitely that's the culture man that's yeah. definitely the culture and I think that comes through in the authenticity of your sound that you can tell that it's it's, it's real it comes from life it comes from experience it comes that's, from knowing yeah definitely 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 but, um, so did you did you study did you study music or did you study, study performing arts or was this more yeah well yeah when I was in in um in college obviously like while I was at school I was doing music and stuff like that but I didn't know the ins and outs of the post production and and stuff like that like I was making little beats and stuff I took GCSE music and I was just like I I got through my GCSE music just through rapping so like I was doing that side and then at, like college I was gonna go and do uh, music performance but then I was like. I've been and done that 
and like, like my old man was saying like oh Ra, why don't you do the other side the technical side because then you can go in a studio you ain't got to pay no one and mm. you can record and mix down your own stuff and then that's that's you in it do you know what i mean yeah. so um so i went through that route and it took me all the way through to university as well i've done my degree in music technology um in performance as well so i studied like live sound and 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 other little bits and bobs and yeah man it was like it's definitely what was needed because i i definitely wouldn't be who i am as an artist now if i didn't do that do you know what mm -hmm. i mean i don't think mm -hmm. i would have got as far because I think it's very important when you're in a studio to communicate with who you're, is engineering the mm. music if you're not engineering it yourself. And yeah. there needs to be a wavelength, a balance to make the piece like um, a masterpiece and exactly yeah. what you hear in your head. Otherwise, yeah. you won't like the tune and it'll yeah. get thrown away. And then that's yeah. literally, and that's, and that's everything. So um, it, gives you, it gives you much more control over your, your sound and your music identity. The more knowledge that you have, the more you can be involved in the creative process hell, because for hell, me yeah. I, I write and produce everything myself but i'm an absolute amateur so it still needs to go to the studio i still need to go and work with someone to take those mm. melodies and turn it into what it is that i hear in my exactly. head so having a certain amount of technical knowledge i think i think that's really important most definitely and that's the thing as well like like before like before i knew about the whole technical like technical side and engineering and stuff like that there would be ideas in my head but i wouldn't know how to translate them um to to that format of just like the creative mixing and it might be even something that you're not doing wrong but the on the mixing side like even like this um the spatial awareness of like reverb and stuff like that and like your position in the music and uh, like yep. in the music in a whole can affect the song yep. just like that so yep. um so yeah these things that I've, I've i've learned um through uni and also meeting people whilst i was in uni and college and stuff like that i've learned skills of people that were already there and new stuff that i didn't um mm. yeah man it's, it's it's been a crazy uh it's been a crazy journey still not even done yet and it's been a crazy hello journey. hello <laughs> we just starting we just starting <laughs> exactly baby steps man baby steps you know i think so so tell me about a little bit about bbc introducing how did how did that come about um bbc introducing uh is a crazy one like obviously i've i i discovered that just through um just just through research like um that going through the computer and blah 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 and i just come across bbc introducing and i was like right i'm gonna have to start um sending through my 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 tracks through there and stuff like that so um done it uh, the first few ones they weren't really they weren't like they was listened to some of them were just aired and blah 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 but now it's kind of got into a stride where everything that i listen to uh everything i send gets listened to and I'm on a good streak of getting played on BBC introducing now, like the that like the Essex one, the London one. Yeah. I've been played a couple times, but the Essex people seem like the uh, um, the people at BBC Essex seem to love me. Um, shouts to Ollie and um, man like Peachy as well. He literally just dropped um, he, he dropped King's Speech this this Saturday as well, and he was only filling in. So it's um so so yes, yeah, it's, it's been it's been quite nice to get some positive feedback from really nice places. And mm -hmm. um, and even uh, getting like one extra play f during lockdown as well, like for Target to support as well. Um, that's been amazing. I think yeah. it's nice because obviously it's like gradual process. You get to you get shown the milestone rather than trying to perceive it yourself and set your own mm -hmm. goals. You know what I mean? Someone yeah. somewhere is saying, "Yo, you're doing great." Um, I like this. This is the direction you should be going. So I'll keep going. Do you know what I mean? So. Um, I think that's important for, for people to, to think about, isn't it, if you're, you're in this, this industry. So yeah, it, isn't, yeah. it isn't an overnight success. That's a, a phrase that gets thrown around oh, so no, much. No. But actually, for many of us, we've been doing this for like a decade before yeah. we actually get to that stage where something pops off for us. And, the, the, and so it, it's about being in for the long game, isn't it? It's about like those, oh, those small steps. Overnight, overnight um, like the overnight term sort of like it, it's, it's perceived more from a consumer basis like yeah. right yeah. like that that's it's just a phrase thrown around to the to the from the consumer in it do you know what yeah. i mean um I'm, like when you see these people that are just blow overnight and blah blah blah, you can see their stuff on youtube and you can see like <laughs> old old aliases and and everything like that so um it, it definitely needs the hard work but it's it's very it's very true though it's very true you definitely do need those signs and it's um you got to be grateful for them as well. 
you, like you can't you can't um you can't take anything for granted as yeah. well so yeah most definitely man so for you what's 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 your favorite thing that you've been able to do on your journey so far musically what's what's the standout performances or moments for you um, everything's and keep them clean, Idris. Yeah, keep them clean. That's what I'm just uh, saying. No, 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 I'm I'm very PG, man. Birthdays <laughs> and bar mitzvahs, I will perform at. Yeah, so yeah, we're good. We are good. Now, um, I, I'd have to say, I, I, like, there's a few, there's a few stand-up points, and I always, I always say them. Like, um, I performed at Fabric to a sold-out crowd. Um, shouts to Jay Offer and Elijah Mello for bringing me into that one. Um, I've got um, I've got music played on on Kiss, One Extra, Capital. Like th- those are big things of that I, I I always hold to heart. Every time it happens as well, like it's it's always something like. I was just gonna happen? say, what was it like the first time? Because I remember the first time, <laughs> the first time I heard my song on radio, I absolutely burst in tears and pulled my it's... eyeballs out all the way through. I didn't hear a minute of it because I just cried for the whole thing. So what did that feel like for you the first time? But even even getting played on like pirate radio for yeah. me was yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because. Yeah. Like, do you, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not, I haven't pressed play on iTunes or Spotify or anything like that. Do you know, I, yeah. I haven't pressed yeah. play. Yeah. Someone else yeah. has done that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. it's, 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 it was, it's, it's always a great feeling, but the first time was insane. I, I know that for a fact. I know that for Where a fact. Where were you? Where were you the first time? Well, I was at the yard. I screamed at my mum. My like, mum, check this. <laughs> Come on. The investment's paying off, mum. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> You know I, mean? I made it, man. I made it. <laughs> yeah. But it's um, yeah, man. It, but yeah, there's there's loads there's loads of things that I'm grateful for. Um, I have to I have to keep reminding myself to be grateful because you know when you get like you you're you're not standoffish from music, but like you know when like you take a little break and stuff, and there's things in the pipeline, but you're not doing anything now, and you want to me- remain consistent. You yeah. tend to kind of put yourself down, like raw, man. I haven't done anything to say, Cole. I haven't done anything to say, Cole. I should be on. I should be on every people's. My name should be in everyone's mouth. Like people should be talking mm-hmm. about me. But mm-hmm. I, you have to. I have to remind myself to like that. There's there's a plan yeah. in place, and I need to just act on that plan. And things yeah. will be good once it mm-hmm. gets there. And you have to remind mm-hmm. yourself that there will always be something to be grateful for once you've done the thing. So. Do you, yeah, think, do you think there's quite huge pressure on us as artists now, especially as the independents, to produce content, to always be relevant, to always be pushing stuff out to the point that sometimes you're at, it might, you might actually lose quality. Not for me personally, because quality is really important, but you're under uh-huh. so much pressure to put the content out there and to keep feeding the machine. I think what, it's, what is that like as a, as a pressure you're, for you? You're, you're, battling, you're battling against the big names, really and truly. Mm-hmm. Because you've got people that are playing in the charts and they've got their longevity there already because they've already acquired their status in the industry. Mm-hmm. So when, say, myself or yourself or anyone in of our calibre was to put out music, mm-hmm. it would be great for a week or so. And if they see you pop up now and then go, rah, okay, that one. But yeah. the tune's been and done over, like, uh, in, in the next month or so. Mm-hmm. And mm. in during that next during those times where your tunes coming out, other people are, other people in big names are releasing their music yeah. as well. So yeah. every Friday there's a new name in your head. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I'm 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 like it myself. Like I always do that. I always have like this thing. I wake up every Friday, I'm like, oh new music Friday and I'll get my <laughs> and I'll get my new banger for the week. And I'll yeah. listen to that banger for the week and then mm. on lucky basis someone might drop something mad. And I'll have it for a couple, few weeks and stuff, and I'll play it out. But then it's that's 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 it. And these are big names, so. Yeah. And I think to me, that's one of the big things that has really changed about the, it's, the music. It's, it's, it's a turn. It's saturated. It's, it's, it's super yeah. saturated. And, and music almost becomes throwaway. You're right. Like, what's the hot track this week? But it's forgotten about next week. There's no. Yeah. Finding the classics, if you like, that will last for the next 50 years that your grandkids will still be playing. It doesn't, exactly. doesn't feel like that for me in, in music anymore. Mm. I mean, it, it, still, it, still, it still happens. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it takes, yeah. it, takes a powerful, it takes a powerful hit to do so. But then most of the, I don't know, one day. Yeah. One, one day. But it's, it's, one of those, it's one of those ones where, like, where fucking, oh, pardon me. Um, it's it's one of those ones where, it, like, it 
for the moment, make your music. Get it out. Don't let anything block you from getting out your creativity and releasing your music yeah. to the masses. Um, also have a plan of action and stuff. But yeah, consistency is key. And perform as well. Go and do shows. Like, yeah. do, do, do up the music lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? I, I, that's one thing I've missed, Becca, man. I've missed performing and i'm gassed mm. to be back this sunday to do that yeah. so yeah, yeah. Is it sunday? where my head been this sunday yeah, yeah. 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 This, about that. this sunday coming through man um box park shoreditch box park right. shoreditch we're doing, we're doing it we're doing it nice and big i'm like you becca i'm doing i'm, I'm releasing a bit of becca in my life man i'm doing <laughs> like i'm i'm doing up live band as well live that's, work. That's, yes. that's what i'm saying so yeah, man, we uh, we we. I'm excited. I know people around me who I've told about. They're excited as well. People are coming to support me, and it feels like, it feels like life. This is what I feel like. Life is back to normal from now on. I'm performing because before, when I'm <laughs> releasing music, and yeah, I might be able to go to the pub, but it's the it, it, the the pandemic's like done a madness. So, for how, me to how start did you cope? How did you cope through that period? I just because uh, I bought, I bought, <laughs> for I bought, most people, bought, go on. No, go, go, I was going to say, for most people, it, it's been horrendous, isn't it? Like, just it being has. stuck in, all normality stopped completely. Yeah. So, so what, what was that like for you? Um, I bought a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I bought a home studio. And I wrote an album, man. That's, that's, literally, <laughs> yes. that's literally what I did, man. I'm, it's, it's been, it, has been, it has been very strenuous. I won't lie. Mm. Um, like I'm, I'm very, I'm very sympathetic for the people around me as well, and mm. I, I see a lot of, I see a lot of suffering um, mm. through like my peoples and stuff. Um, I've, I've felt it too mentally. Um, Lord knows, like, um, like I've had my missus as well to help me out through this as well. So I've been a lot, I've been in a greater position than than mm. some people, but um, but like it's yeah, it's it, it's it's took a toll on everyone, man. It's mm. it's just it's just, it was just a tedious task like tedious tasks to just do nothing day yep. in day out do you know yep. what i mean so um but yeah but don't know i lost weight though i lost weight this lockdown we've done all right we've done all right but, um yeah man it's 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 just been a learning curve and i think it's been nice as well because obviously like but prior to lockdown i was doing i was like i was working if I weren't working, I was performing and I didn't have enough time for myself. So where I'd yeah. just been releasing singles and stuff, like to, for me to actually sit down and, and write, a, uh, write an album, um, it took a lot to tap into what I was actually feeling and, and what I, like, mm. what, 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 what's going wrong around in my sense. And I felt quite nice to spiritually reconnect in, uh, mm. in, the, in the life of Idris. So, um, yeah, it's nice. what's what's the plan with that? What's what, what's the plan with that album? What's what's tell me what's happening with it? Where are we going? What are we doing? Um, so yeah, like, like I said, I've obviously like I released two tracks this uh, like last Friday, um, mm -hmm. and now you'll hear nothing from me apart from shows, and then when yeah. that album's ready to drop in December, um, okay. it, I'm I'm looking to do a madness. There'll be a headline show most definitely, um, yeah. COVID or not, um, there will be some sort of show. And I will be performing my heart out. Um, so, boy, if you're trying to miss it, then you're silly, innit? Um, and you're sleeping. Nobody's yeah, trying to miss that. Yeah, that's what I'm that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going to be insane. The last time I've done a, a, an actual headline show, like, patterned by myself in conjunction with a, um, a good team of friends of mine, um, was 2018. And I have to say, to date, like, my own personal show, yeah, I, they were they, I, they were second to none, really and truly. It was mm. literally second to none. Um, so, yeah, and I'm and I'm planning to do it better. So, you got to do the maths there, innit? Yeah. <laughs> you do the maths there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you if you could go back to to young Idris at the start of his music journey, what what advice would you give to him? Don't change anything. Don't change anything. Like oh, literally, because yeah. like I I've young young me is like young young me was was wild in it and like just full like full on bubbly and just extroverted and i think it takes that to to learn what i've learned now so do that in it like 
go go out and pretend you don't have a shell to burst through and then from <laughs> there you'll burst through your shell in it and yes. you'll be the person you are in it so yeah man i love that i yeah, love that that's it that's it for, yeah bro. like yeah definitely i mean i think i think for me i think the toughest part of the last six months has not being able to get out and perform because I think if you are an artist, first that's life, isn't it? And we haven't actually been able to go back to work until about three weeks ago. So live music was still off the table yeah. completely until about exactly. three weeks ago. Yeah. So not being able to perform was really challenging. How did you find that? Did you miss that? Did you miss that audience connection, the, the live stuff? Oh yeah. And yeah. you know what? I've done a lot of stuff on Instagram live. Um, a lot of stuff on Instagram live and it was amazing as well because I got to connect with people that are very um like I said were very like influential in the industry and stuff I spoke to a lot of great people um and it it's it's cool doing the whole um like live to live thing like we're doing now like the whole streaming mm -hmm. and stuff and it's probably very user friendly for um a lot of people who like like who who aren't, aren't doing anything right now as well but mm -hmm there's nothing better than the atmosphere of like mm -hmm. like face to face with people performing and tapping into yeah. people's heartstrings while you're while you're doing your thing so um yeah man I, I, like as as a as a community like as an industry we've really tried to make it work but mm. It's not the same. It's not the same, is it? And like you said, it's great, right, and you can build an audience, and you can still connect, and you can still perform. But it's not yeah, the same as being exactly. on that stage under them lights. They're yeah. looking at you. You're looking at them, and you feel that transference of energy. Like you exactly. can't fake that. You can't exactly. duplicate that online. It's not. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. Like I was even yeah. watching wireless, and I was feeling like I was feeling very like empathetic and, and very sympathetic i was like raw like these men are performing their hearts out on stage but it's not like there's not the set i know there's not that same grasp in it that that yeah. when you're on stage in front of people because yeah. you can see from people's emotions people have a tell if they're if they're actually listening to you and what they're actually grasping so it's like nice it's like a challenge to 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 just like grab that whole crowd in it and, yep. and and have them have them just watching you so yep. yeah man all right, I've got some um, some quick fire questions for you now. We're going to get to know you a little bit. This is this is interesting. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw them at you, and I'm just going to take your first answer. Oh, no right. do overs. <laughs> no, no do overs. But they're quick. So you want you so want quick. quick fire answers? Yeah, yeah. So whatever comes first comes to mind. All right. Uh, oh, that's crazy. All right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to be too mean. You're right. I'm not going to be too mean. Maybe. All right. All right. What's your favourite colour? Green. Have you ever lost a shoe? No. No. <laughs> no. I de most definitely. I just thought well, there might be a story there, but I think you're you, your face is telling me like, mm, no, no. Nah, nah, my feet are connected to my ankles. There's no way I'm losing a shoe. Have you lost a shoe? I have. Just once. You've lost a shoe. Just once. Oh my I just got the hill snapped off though. The hill snapped off to be fair. And so I just dashed it. So no, you disposed, you disposed of the shoe. You didn't lose it though. Lose yeah, it when true. lose, that's lose true. it when lose it when in play, you look down at your foot and go, rah, where's my shoe gone? That's that's not a thing. <laughs> that's a bad day. Yeah, that's a that's a bad day. You go to bed after that. Alright. Marmite, love it or hate it? Love it. Who's your celeb crush? Oh, uh, don't say that. Where's the thing okay. store? Um, yeah, go on. <laughs> Do you sing in the shower? Huh? Do you sing in the shower? Yeah. Badly. Good. <laughs> you know. Right. Showers, you... showers, 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 auto tune for me. But yeah, go on. <laughs> Can you spell your name backwards? Yeah. I was going to. <laughs> that, went, that wasn't the question. You said, can I? I said, yeah. All right, don't be clever. Don't be clever. All right, cool. S I R D I. Yeah, that's easy. You only got five letters. That was easy. Yeah, so, yeah but it is. <laughs> you asked me, didn't it? <laughs> so, what, what are you doing after the interview today? Eating. <laughs> I ain't what, what are you doing? I ain't, really? had a, I ain't had dinner yet. I'm having some fried rice and a bit of uh, and a bit of pork still sticking. Yeah, the road. Yeah, down the road, and yeah. See you in about twenty minutes. Yeah, see. That's a goddamn <laughs> lie. You know it. <laughs> you didn't see me to... hey, you're just about food, I'm probably not lying. To be fair. Nah, but yeah. 
That's my thing. Don't worry about you, man. There, there's shots up the road as well. Like, you go in there. <laughs> I put you in my bed there, like, what? Yeah. So my last question for you today before you give us a little number is that, as you know, we are called Integrity Magazine. And we would like to know what does integrity, integrity mean to Integrity means to me. Don't know. Shouts to Integrity Magazine as well. This, is, um, this has been a great interview. Um, integrity for me, right, is just to remain true to who you are. Um, never sugarcoat anything or rise to anyone else's um, negative mentality or anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. Always try and remain pure. Um, it's never easy, uh, like in the in the life that we live, but um, just be the best person you can be, and um, yeah, and do the best you can do as well. Because I see all you man out there not doing the best you can do, but mm-hmm. be the best you can be the best you can be. Do the best that you can do. I love that. Tell them. I, 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 tell them. I'm in a game now, though. Yes, tell them, tell them. Yes. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna give us a little taste of your new single now to to end us for the evening. I might, I, I might do a little shouting. I might do a little shouting. Do a little shouting, shouting. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Um, all right. Then I'll do this now. Then quickly. Um, I want to play my tune. It's called King's Speech. Um, like I said, it just got released Friday along with a, um, a song of mine called Pie Show. You can find them on all streaming platforms. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Idris Miles. That's I D R I S. I spot it backwards before. Underscore M I L E S underscore. And um, yeah, here we go. Wait, hold up. Yeah. There's something I want to say, wait, let me phrase it right, you know, waves is something I know of, something in my brain ain't right, cause it's taking me time to make this freestyle blow up, so let me phrase it right, I think something's left, I need to go down to my soul and rise myself up, I know, phase of my life just taking a toll, yeah, I got people around me showing me love, but always feel like I'm here on my own, their instance, their snapchat telling me, yeah, I'm a mad time, but... I don't ever feel you're involved. Why don't I ever see you at shows anyway? Got a tangent. The symptoms of release. Rather than talking inside of my head, I decided to talk on a beat. These days I don't feel like I'm really me. Finance wise, we're lacking a piece. I'm broke. These shows ain't helping me ease. You see, it's mad. So then exhausting. This ain't a big Breathe. So I'm telling myself, my G, I need to breathe. I need to start working on my health rather than peace. That currency ain't really dope if I want to be. Me, I ain't trying to be nobody else. I want to be me. Yeah. Look, I want to be a part of the sun and a cut of the rest. I want to be me. Yeah, yeah. Look, I can't stand the wannabe that I chat you want to be. I want to be. Look, you can keep talking, but it's the king talking. I... You can keep talking, but it's the king talking. Like, whoa, speak. King talking, but it's the king talking. Uh... Look, you can keep talking. But it's the king talking, look, I want to be a part of the sun, I caught up by the rest. That's why I say I'm a king car. That's the sun I wanted to be, I feel it manifest. Man won't stop to my name's on the breath. Man down, man down, everybody dead. And sirens, sirens, running for the feds. This is the life we live, but there's no kidding. I said my vibe is different, I'm on a mission. Fuck with the lights, they're telling, I tell the ribbon to the lies, they're telling, I said it. Man down, man down, everybody dead. And sirens, sirens, running for the feds. This is the life we live, it's repetition, the pressure is sitting. I'm sitting in zombies, so sit, it's like out of my vision. Sick of the sun of a side kid, I'm a side kid. This is the the damn king, cause I'm things you and me. Rather than talking inside of my head, I decided to talk on a beat. These days I don't feel like I'm really mean. Finance wise, we're lacking the peas. I'm broke, these shows ain't helping me eat. So you see, it's mad, sad and exhausting. We can't let one hear us speak. Breathe, that's what I'm telling myself, my G. I need to breathe. I need to start working on my health rather than peace. That currency ain't really well if I wanna be me. I ain't trying to be nobody else. I wanna be me. Yeah, yeah. Look, I want to be a part of the set and a cut about the rest. I want to be. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, look. And I can't stand. I want to be that a chat. You want to be? I want to be. Look, you can keep talking. But it's the king talking now. Look, you can keep talking. But it's the king talking like, whoa, speech. King talking. But it's the king talking now. You can keep talking. But it's the king talking now. And that's me, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. That. Where can we find that? Like I said, you can find it on all streaming uh, services, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, whatever your fancy. 
and it comes with a good song of mine called Pie Show as well. Tune into that and yeah, man. That's all me, bro. Support the thing. Support the thing. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure to talk with you today, Idris. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you very much. Cheers. Lovely. And I look forward to seeing you back on the live circuit soon. Yeah. Woo-woo. Thanks. All right. Thank you guys. And we'll see you again same time next week. Bye.